Hello there, my beautiful friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, this is your next three months reading. So we're going to go over a, a few cards here. I've actually got seven cards uh, ready to pull for you here. So I'm going to give you a lowdown on what it is that uh, you can expect in this reading today, everyone. So we're going to start with the theme of your next three months here with an oracle card from the Autumn Sky Oracle deck. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull an angel number for you as well. So those of you that have been seeing any kind of angel numbers, repeating numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance uh, for the next three months here, okay? These numbers, also the images, everything that you see in these cards today, everyone, are going to follow you around over the next three months. I want you to come back to this reading to retrieve the messages again if you remember what it was that you saw throughout this reading. Now next after that, I'm going to pull a personal message specifically for you through the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what you can expect over the next three months. And then we're going to pull a card just to see what kind of things you need to be aware of. Perhaps there's some blockages. We're going to take a look at that through uh, a Mahrook's uh, card deck for uh, blockages. Then I'm going to pull a healing card for you as well, something that you need to be aware of and heal through the next three months. And last but not least, I'm going to pull an animal spirit card for you as well. So those of you that are seeing any kind of animals or insects over the next three months or have been seeing them, this is going to give you your guidance and confirmation today. So look at all of this that you have uh, to stay tuned for here. So let's get into it. Hello there, my beautiful Aries friends. How are you? Thank you so much for being here today. We're going to go ahead and start your reading with a theme card. So I'm going to go ahead and split this deck, see what we get here. So we are getting forgiveness. All right, this is going to be the theme over the next three months here for you. So soften your stance, Aries. You are reconciling your, you're reconciling your re lineage. Witness history with compassion here, my friends. Recognize your ancestors' sacrifices. You can rewrite inherited drama. The past and future heal with you, balance and repair. So what I want you to do here today is I want you to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your, your own messages. So taking a look at this image, there's a lot of balance here. This person has really been uh, focusing in on meditation. There's a lot of healing going on here as well. So I want you to carry this message with you throughout uh, the next three months here, Aries. All right, so forgiveness is coming through. I'm going to go ahead and pull an angel card for you as well. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers or repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So let's see what it is that spirit guides would like you to know today. Well of the soul. And we have the number one coming through for you. So perhaps some of you have been seeing the number one. This is going to give you your confirmation. Any of you looking for dates uh, or timing, we're getting one day, one week, one month, and one year. The first of the month is going to be a very good time for you to really focus on your self-care, maybe um, practice some gratitude, some forgiveness here, some sort of a practice around that. The message on this card is believe you can succeed because you can, Aries. Deep knowing, you have this deep inner knowing taking things to heart, soul purpose, trust yourself, take it to heart. 
So I just feel there's some sort of an opening coming up. There's this knowing. Spirit guides really want you to trust yourself and your inner knowing. I feel a lot of you are aligning to your soul purpose here. So the beautiful colors on this angel card are, are also going to follow you around uh, over the next three months here. So lots of greens, purples and yellows. Aries. So anytime you see the number ones in your life, I want you to remember this message well of the soul. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the personal message from spirit to you. This is the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. So again, I want you to carry these messages around with you, Aries. All right, so this card at the top wants to slip out here. So we're going to go ahead and use this spirit of life, Aries. This is what you are, the spirit of life. All right, so I'm going to read you the message on this card. Remember, you are never alone, Aries. The spirit of life is with you. The world, the world takes care of you as well. So allow yourself to rest in this realization and feel the lightness in you. I feel over the next three months here, some of you are going to be going through some sort of a healing process, okay? Journaling, meditation are going to be very important. If you can add this to your daily practice, you're going to see a lot of positive results from this, Aries. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and pull three tarot cards for you and see what Spirit's message is for you over the next three months here. So Spirit Guides, what do my beautiful Aries friends need to hear today that they can carry with them over the next three months, what they need to know? All right, so let's split this deck and pull some cards. So the Wheel of Fortune is coming through. So a change in your situation for the better. You have luck on your side here, Aries. Something definitely to be excited for. As you're working through these energies here that we've already pulled, no things are about to turn around for you. This is a major arcana card. This energy is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are going to feel this intensely. Others, you're going to feel this subtly, okay? So Wheel of Fortune to start. We're also getting the Judgment card a secondary major arcana card. So there's some sort of realization, uh, a, a moment in your life that is going to be very powerful, that is opening uh, a path here for you. This is kind of what I'm feeling here. So a change in your situation that leads to this eye-opening experience, bringing in brand new beginnings, hence why you have the number one, which is tied to fresh starts and beginnings. So Definitely something to look forward to here, Aries. And we've got Temperance. So three major arcana cards. So there's some big changes happening in your life here, Aries. So a lot of balance coming in. And I feel for you, any kind of extreme situations, things that are um, over the top here, like if there's things that you're taking in too much of something, it's now time to balance things out. I feel this is going to be the focus for some of you over the next three months here, okay? So balancing, self-regulation, avoiding any kind of extremes. This is going to be very important. So before I start here, just wanted to remind everyone that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading and may not resonate for everyone today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So, wow, Aries, oh my goodness, lots of changes coming through for you here. So I really feel this next three months for you is going to be, uh, it's a process that some of you are working through. So there's a lot of things that you're releasing and letting go. And as you're doing that, things are about to switch up. And, you know, I feel that as this releasing and letting go happens, you're really setting yourself up here for the new year, Aries. I feel that maybe there's a job uh, situation that is going to change for some of you. Um, you know, when this wheel of fortune changes, sometimes it throws us out of our comfort zone and we might not feel good in the moment as this happens, but there's a higher purpose for why this is happening. It's for your benefit. There's something on the other side that is more suited for you. There's a new path there. So you may be experiencing some sort of uncomfortable change at this time or over the next three months, which is shifting you into this new uh, season, this new path that is more aligned to you and your purpose, right? This is showing up here in your cards, uh, soul purpose. There's this deep knowing. I feel that some of you know that things are about to shift in your life and you're trusting not only yourself, but the universe, your spirit guides to lead you towards 
this place of happiness. Happiness is coming in. This is what I'm picking up on. And there's a lot of success. There's a lot of abundance coming in through this as well, as well as prosperity for you. And I, I feel that a lot of you have gone through a lot over this past year in 2023. Some of us have been really uh, living good lives where we're comfortable, we're in a place that suits us really well, but I feel that there is some really good change coming in that's going to make life even better for those of you that have been going through a really nice, consistent energy flow in your life. Those of you that have been going through hardships, things are about to shift here. And this is the power that you have that you're creating in your own life, Aries. This is you changing your season in a way, especially through working on yourself, releasing and letting go. So this is bringing about new changes. So I don't want any of you to be afraid of changes in your life. Instead, I want you to face those changes head on. I want you to walk into that storm of change and come out the other side evolved becoming that version of you through that change because that change is bringing in a superpower for you. So I feel you're meant to actually learn something through this process of this change. So a change in your situation, whether it's your work, whether it's your home, right? Maybe you're planning a move or perhaps you're going to move without even knowing it over uh, the next three months here, right? This could be a relationship change. Whatever this is, it's for your highest good, Aries. And it's leading you towards this place of the judgment. So there's almost like this um, big decision you're going to make around this, but there's almost this metamorphosis, transformation, something happening deep down within you here, Aries, that is really opening. It's like a light that is uh, finally giving way here inside of you, like a fire that's being lit. And... I'm getting hope, faith, knowing that things are going to work out for the better. So these are the kind of energies that I'm picking up on for some of you. So I do feel this is a revelation in your life. This is a major breakthrough. And this is what is showing up here. Like believe that you can succeed here, Aries, through whatever is going on in your life. And know that there's a lot of beautiful things here waiting for you this coming year. And you're growing you are expanding, you are evolving. This is a part of this uh, change that is coming into your life here. And this is that revelation that some of you are going to realize, like there's a realization coming in through this process of change and evolving, um, this evolution of yourself, okay? And I feel either, either it's gonna be a big moment in your life this next couple of months here, uh, a change in your situation that opens your eyes, something that happens around you. This could be external to you that really um, touches you in some way that changes the way that you look at life. But I feel that because some of you are going through this shift already, uh, I feel a lot of you are going through a shift right now. Perhaps you have, um, you're trying to change your habits, you're trying to um, set some goals and really accomplish something. Um, like many, many different things here. I'm getting a lot of uh, downloads coming through for you, Aries, and I feel that a lot of you are doing different, different things in your life. And what's happening here is the things that you're releasing out of your life, the things that don't serve your higher purpose, are actually creating a, a different energy in your life. And this is what's happening in the background. And this could feel uncomfortable as well because when we're putting ourselves into a new habit, when we're implementing new things, it takes a little bit of time to uh, reinforce a new habit, right? It takes a couple of months. And this is kind of what I'm picking up here with you. And this is making way for new beginnings. Like there's a new path opening up for you. and there's a lot of balance, there's a lot of good things coming in. So those of you that have been going through life feeling like there's been a little bit of instability, maybe you're, you're, you've been feeling um, wobbly energy, maybe as you're walking, you've been feeling the ground shaking beneath your feet here. Perhaps you've been going through some sort of chaos, some sort of conflict energy, whatever this is, it's all about to balance out. There's a lot of harmony. There's a lot of um, tranquility coming into your life and I feel that you are the one that's creating this. So I feel the focus for you here, Aries, over the next three months is going to be to create create balance in your life in all areas. And I feel that belief systems are also going to change here. And you're changing up or switching up your belief systems more in tune with your authentic self. 
and self-regulation, meditation, grounding techniques, all of these things, if you're able to implement this over the next three months, use discipline, consistency to stick to your plan and follow through, you're going to see some massive results here, everyone. So I feel it's going to be very important that you understand what your goals are, what your vision is for this year, and really focus in on creating balance in your work life, your home life, just everywhere. This is what's going to start, start switching things up for you, right? And I feel for some of you, you've already felt uh, the wheel of fortune change in your favor because... Um, I feel for some of you, this, this wheel of fortune shifted at the end of January or already. And for some of you, this is going to happen in the month of January. This is going to be really big. And, you know, what's going to happen is it might throw you off balance for a moment, but this is where you re-collaborate your energy. You get your footing, you get your grounding, ground your energy, plant yourself firmly in the ground here, uh, lay some solid foundations and watch how you grow and expand in your life this year, Aries. Uh, this is the year number eight in numerology. It's all about mastery. It's about growth. It's about being brave and courageous. It's a power number. And this is a power year for you. It's a power year for everyone. There's so much abundance available to all of us. This is a year of prosperity. So it's time for you to create this in your life. And it starts with balance. Understanding the things that are important to, important to you, where you need to put your energy, right? Are you divvying up your energy where you're feeling like you're depleted of energy, right? This is why you need some balance in your life. Balance is also coming in and through balance, you're going to succeed, okay? So this is going to be very important. Putting your energy towards all the things that actually mean something to you and where you want to see that growth, protecting your energy as well, right? From anything external that is going to take you away from your focus. Uh, understanding that there are energies out there that try to keep us from um, accomplishing our goals. That's that devil energy. Even though we don't have the devil card today, I am picking up on that energy. So perhaps some of you are facing some sort of distractions. Now with the temperance card, I feel that some of you are really focusing in on your health, releasing yourself from things that maybe you were overeating. Uh, maybe there were things that you were even watching, right? That causes stress or anxiety. So these are the extremes that some of you are releasing out of your life and really Focusing in on your well-being, your health, your mental health. This is going to be very important. Forgiveness. All of this comes into line with the temperance card as well. Okay. So it's, it's such a beautiful energy here for you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a blocked energy card for you as well. Something that you need to be aware of. And anytime you catch yourself in this energy, I want you to come back to this card's message. Okay. Okay. So I just feel there's so many beautiful things that are about to unfold in your lives here. Lack of knowledge. It's time to learn. So perhaps you're moving along your journey and you need to pick up on some more knowledge. So reading books, learning as much as you can about something specific. Remember the number eight in numerology also about mastery. Okay, so still in the learning process, need more knowledge to advance. So how you unblock this energy is you take time to learn. Aries, I feel this is going to be your superpower this year is as much as you can take in my friend, you're going to master something this year. And whether it's you starting a new business, maybe there's some sort of a hobby, something that you're wanting to, um, maybe make money with, you're going to master it this year. This is what this card is showing me. So when you expand your knowledge, you have the power to achieve many things, Aries. Find an area of your life where you lack knowledge or identify a skill you'd like to improve to begin your learning journey. So whether it's you wanting to start a YouTube channel, whether you're wanting to do tarot or something else, time to take in knowledge. I'm continually learning every single day. And I feel that life is a journey of learning constantly. We're always evolving. We are expanding our knowledge. There's so much we can learn and grow from. So I feel this is going to be a part of your journey over the next three months here is really taking up, uh, taking in information, being a sponge here, Aries. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a healing card for you as well. This comes with a cute little animal and a number. So we're getting believe in the power of light, 
Aries, we've got the number 20 on this card as well. So perhaps you've been seeing the number 20. This could be a number of significance for some of you. Those of you that are looking for timing, 20 days is coming up for you. Also, two days, two weeks, two months. February being a very powerful month for you. And we have this beautiful little lion or a tiger on this card. So if you've been seeing a tiger or a lion in your life, this is your confirmation today. The message on this card is trust in the higher plan. Your path is protected. Nothing can harm you, Aries. So keep moving forward here, my friends. The, there's an affirmation that comes with this as well. So feel free to use this for yourself. I am divinely protected. So I am divinely protected. Anytime you see a little uh, lion or tiger in your life, remember this healing message, even the number 20. Come back to this message, Aries. All right. So last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and pull an animal spirit card for you. Some of you have been seeing animals or insects in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting butterflies. So look at that. There's a rebirth happening for you. You are going through a rebirth over the next three months here. So that's that cocoon phase. And you know, it could be that icky phase of the cocoon, which is okay because this is letting you know that you are evolving. You are shifting, you're transforming here. So those of you that have been seeing butterflies in your life, this is your confirmation today. Know that these animals, everything in these cards are going to follow you around over the next three months. And I want you to remember the messages of each of these um, animals or numbers because these are the messages that you want to remember. So the butterfly here is, you can reinvent yourself, Aries. Open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey, my friend. So I'm gonna go ahead and read you the interpretation here from the guidebook for this card. All right, so I don't wanna knock my coffee cup over. I just elbowed it. Uh, let's take a look here butterfly spirit so if butterfly has fluttered fluttered into your awareness know that change is in the air aries if you see butterfly in your garden expect new opportunities for prosperity and friendship butterflies bring beauty and color to life but it doesn't always start that way Butterfly asks us to be patient with ourselves and to consider life's chapters which are caterpillar cocoon emerging and flight for butterfly people, the stages of beginning, struggle, birthing, and completion must be viewed as one cycle of experience. This is butterfly's laws of progression. Relate this law to your daily activities and have faith in your future, Aries. Results will show in time. Butterfly people remember that change is good. A new day will soon be birthed and that endings are also beginnings. If butterfly is your totem, you have grace, eloquence, and understanding. Everyone is blessed by your beauty and indomitable faith in goodness. You love the garden and flowers are your friends. You understand that happiness is found in simple things. Know that you were born to fly and that you will have many glorious days in the sun. Now this comes with contrary messages here. I'm gonna read these to you as well. Feel free to use these as journaling prompts. Have you been acting like a social butterfly, Aries? It is time to get real on relationships. Are you stuck in your cocoon? Have you lost connection to the nectar of life, which is happiness? Do not resist change here, Aries. I feel that um, a part of this change is here in this card. So balance, this is also tapping into the temperance card for you today as well, okay? So this is your reading, my friends. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.